Okay, what you need to do to unlock the 3.0 firmware on a iPhone 3GS. Um, this is the 3GS 32 gig I'm unlocking. So you need to just simply boot the phone in restore mode. That can be done just by holding down the home key when you plug it into your dock. Um, and then sh pressing the shift key when hitting restore. This will let you choose your restore file. You want to use the 3.0 restore file for the iPhone 3GS, which is this one. Um, I've downloaded both files for the 3G and the 3GS. And then I'm going to hit restore. What you have to do first is go into your temp folder. You can do this by saying run. And then you can see here it's going to, we're going to go to open my temp folder. That's this folder. You want to say view by date. You want to scroll down to the folders. And what's going to happen is as soon as you hit that restore button, you're going to have, I'm going to, I'm going to open up a tutorial to show you the image. You're going to get, a, you're going to get an icon um, of a folder that's the folder that you want to immediately hit copy. You want to hit copy on that. Bam. Um, you want to copy that folder and you want to have a couple folders on your desktop. One, which is a pornage folder where you have your restore file. One is um, you want to have a, the temp file open so you can copy that file. And then the last one, which is the most important one, is where you're going to create a folder inside your pawnish folder where you're going to copy the restore files that are on your phone that are required if ever you want to unlock or restore your phone in the future. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to open that folder there as you can see run the temp file um, and then you're going to make sure that you can view all your hidden folder files and then you're going to enable the restore and once that's done you're going to look for a file called per 518d um, right now it doesn't appear on here per 518 but it will as soon as um, date modified boom as soon as uh, you hit restore that per file will appear in your um, temp folder. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and then I'm going to go ahead and get ready once it does that because you, you only have a few you have a very short time to copy that file and you need to copy that file um, just by right click right clicking on that per folder and then saying copy. That's going to copy that file and then we're going to go over here to our pawnage folder and we're going to paste it. So we're going to wait for this file um, to appear while it's extracting the iPhone software, verifying the iStore file, preparing my iPhone for restore. So as you can see here, I've got the 3GS that's now rebooting um, and installing the restore 3.0 on my 3GS, um, which actually arrived from Apple today. Uh, you can order it on Apple dot com if you're in the US and if you're not in the US you can order it from international dash orders dot com um, so this per file still hasn't come up but it should do let's see modified by date per there it is so copy that file and paste it here so that's created um, interesting data there's firmware for both DFU and normal restore mode um, and that was the file we wanted it actually creates several files of that name um, and then deletes them pretty quickly once uh, once it gets going through the restore file so you need to do that within the first minute or so um, then you need to wait about six minutes for a restore for it res to restore your iPhone into a new version 3. If you fail to do this and don't catch it the first time, you can simply just go through the restore process one more time. 
Um, and that will give you a second chance to do it. And if you get it, mess it up that time, you can still do it again.